Hello everyone, welcome to our PAL World Survival Guide. We're talking about bases and workload today and why I think it's rather important for you to split your work up between different bases rather than having everything on one base. And there's a few reasons that, you know, that's pretty beneficial. So the first benefit is that really it's just easier to organize. Um, bases, you know, they're, they're not like the biggest like in terms of like radius size so you kind of end up getting like cramped and you have to like put things all over the place and and you don't, don't like don't get me wrong you can certainly be organized but with just the sheer amount of like things that you can make and need to make to like you know advance your base things get a little crowded things get a little chaotic and it can be a little bit more difficult to to keep things organized and i mean that in terms of like production too everything is start if you have a base that has everything going on it's kind of hard to just kind of like manage it all Whereas if you split your base up and you have like, like um, just off the top of my head here, like an ore base, a base that's all about mining ore, then you know that like, hey, when you need to do more uh, like, like ore stuff, that's just the base you go to and you get that done and you know what's happening there and you can manage it very easily. You don't have to like figure out what's going on and who's involved and all that because you have so many pals out and they're all doing so many things. Um, so it's just a little bit better for like organization. Now, the other kind of like main benefit is that like you, you, you get more room. So, like, if you have one base that has everything, um, kind of like what I have going on right now, you can see things are getting a little tight. Now, granted, I haven't really organized this that well, but, you know, things are getting tight, and there's only, I'm only, like, a little, what am I, like, level, I'm level, only level 18 right now in this particular save file anyway. And there's, I know there's, like, you know, there's, there's those uh, sphere, like, uh, conveyor belt things that you can make down the line, and, like, those are pretty big. And I'll know I want like I'll know I want more egg incubators once I get into breeding properly and and all that. So like it takes up a lot of space. And yes, you can always build vertically. That is absolutely you know something you can totally do. But I just feel like in terms of clean, you know, if you, if you like a little bit more organized stuff like that, or if you just need some room to breathe, uh, splitting your workloads between different bases can help with that because it just means like you know if I had like a base that was just all about farming, you know, the, that whole area would be, you know, cleared up. I wouldn't have to worry about that anymore. Um, and the same goes for like pals uh, and how like they, they navigate, like they're getting a little bit better with pathing, but they're not a hundred percent there yet. And having such a, a cluttered and, and enclosed base makes it a little bit more difficult for them to kind of like find their way around as well. You're struggling with your task. What you mean? You're doing great. You're doing great, buddy. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, so, you know, there's that. Maybe he needs to go. You know what? Let's put you, buddy. You're going to go relax whether you like it or not. So uh, so that's kind of like um, the, the second reason there. Now, a third one really has to do with kind of like work priority. Now, when you have a lot of pals out and you have a lot of things going on, they try to do like everything that they can. And, oh, are you... You're sleep okay, you can, that's fine. You just, that's great. Great for you. Um, they tend to try to do everything. Like, you know, uh, like Lambo, for example. Lambo has like a lot of things that he can, that he can do. He can run, you know, he's, he's like a, a handy worker. He's a transport, oh, you're awake again. Okay. Um, and you know, he does a lot, bunch of things. So when you have lots of stuff going on and you have a pal that can, that can do lots of things, they're gonna be running around trying to do all those. But because their AI isn't the smartest just yet, they struggle to like complete a task. They'll do something for like a little bit and then they'll forget about it or whatever because there's a new thing that they need to go do. So they'll go do that instead. So if you split up your bases and you split up your workload, you know, they, that helps them. It helps limit like the tasks that they have because there's fewer things going on. So they're able to be a little bit more productive in that way. They'll actually complete a job instead of just doing something halfway through and then moving on to like the next thing. So that's a, that's a pretty big benefit if you ask me. Um, and then the third is that, like, you know what? Like, it, it just kind of makes navigating the map easier when you have different bases around. Like, I have this ore base here that I haven't fully developed just yet. I think I'm actually going to move it because I, I wouldn't mind having one, uh, like, in this region uh, where I found, like, another nice little ore location. Look for that video coming up very soon, by the way. Uh, and uh, it, just having bases kind of scattered about, uh, it just makes it so that you can navigate the map a little faster. Like, yes, you do have, obviously, these little waypoints, and that's all very helpful and great. But sometimes there's, like, an area that you want to get to that doesn't have, like, a waypoint very close to it. So putting a base there allows you to very quickly, you know, navigate to that area, which is, again, just very helpful. 
So having different bases and actually, you know, building them and kind of splitting up your workload and stuff like that, I think that, you know, it provides quite a few benefits. So if you know of any more, do let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear it and your little, your little takes and all that. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep surviving and keep thriving.